Are Chelsea just stuttering a wee bit? They are, but I mean, they've got good reason to. Timo Werner's out, uh, Havertz is out, Lukaku's still not back. They've got no recognised striker to pick from. And uh, it's shown last night because they had so many chances, especially in the first half. 13 shots on, well, 13 shots, two on target. Um, a little bit toothless going forward, but still the amount of possession and the and the way that they played in the first half and the chances that they carved out, they should have won that game. But you have to give credit to the back five of Everton, Rafa, um, Jordan Pickford played superbly well. And all in all, it was a really fantastic, resilient performance from a from a, 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 a thrown together team of a 5-4-1 and it was almost like a 5-5-0 up front. Um Set out by uh, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. He needed Benitez. that, didn't he, Rafa? Well, he just he needed did. that. He did. Yeah. Great it, ball, Trevor, though, wasn't it? I just watched it back. Um, yeah. From uh, Gordon, wasn't it? Anthony Gordon, yeah. What a, what a great ball in. Well, it's been a breakthrough season for Anthony Gordon. He's done well, um, hasn't he? He's done well. He's got himself into the under 21 squad. He's growing. He's improving. I can see it. I've seen it from the start of the season. I've seen him play at Old Trafford earlier on in the season away. Hmm. And uh, he struggled. For the opening 20, 25 minutes, he, he couldn't catch his breath. He's, the distances when the ball was on the opposite side, he was leaving too too much. He was coming into inside too much, leaving that overlap for the fullback for Manchester United to get too much space. And he learned quickly. And that's what you want players to do. It, do it's know challenging, what, mate, but do you, you want, want them to, to learn. See, when you're playing the struggling side as well, and you're young, you've come in the side and you're giving your all. I'm not saying you're, you're making great passes every time, but no. you are giving absolutely 100%. The punters respond to that. Of course they do. He's well, he cares. Well, you can you can tell he's got pride of putting the Everton shirt on, wearing the badge with pride, and the the fans were so appreciative. The Everton fans, the away fans last night, mm. so appreciative about after the game. I watched all the team, the manager and everything go over to the fans and applaud them uh, in the shed end. It was it was a really great. Like it reminded me of a performance where you, you you've got a team full of Galacticos, which you have with Chelsea, European champions, eighty one percent, eighty two percent possession everyone's grafting for each other, everyone's grafting for the manager. And I don't care what the Everton fans say, that performance shown that all the players want to play for Rafa. And not only that, when you talk about unit work, you could see the ball when it was getting shifted from right to left or left to right from the Chelsea players. One was coming out to put pressure on the ball, the other one was sliding nice, nice and tight across. As soon as the ball got transferred, it was a trigger. The ne They've done the work on the training ground. There was four players from the starting lineup uh, from Finch Farm, the Everton Academy. So you have to give credit to the, the lads there, that yeah. are the coaches there that are developing these players and nurturing them. But also, Rafa's had these players in the squad. Yeah. He knows he's he's got massive injury problems and with COVID, uh, they've got problems with selection and, and the squad uh, depth. So they've had to bring these kids in. But these kids. They must be training with the first team because the way that they acquitted themselves yeah. in the game was absolutely great out to see that outstanding. Well. But the goal scorer for Everton, Jared Brentford, he was superb. He stepped a centre half. He's probably about six two, six three, um, tall lad. Um, How old is he, Trev? Nineteen, 19 years 19, old. 19. Yeah, and like oh. big opportunity for him. But he took it with both hands, scored the equalising goal. A fantastic ball in by Anthony Gordon. But just the way that the team had that spirit, and you know, Everton, all the Everton fans that would have been there last night would have been so proud of the team.